keeping your faith when you are a young woman it can be a bit tasking and it's not easy because the world is not kind to believers they are looking for every opportunity to just embarrass them there's a time i was doing an initiative for 3030 you remember it of course i would go to different companies asking them to support me in that quest because i had 30 churches to go and give musical instruments and one of the people that i went to see was a very rich person and i remember the first time i went to meet him we actually never spoke much about the initiative he just wanted to know me what i stand for and i said i am a born again christian and all that and he said okay sawa ninaelekea nyeri si twende nikamwambia ah no my plans were not to go to nyeri right now and he said no but i'll give you money the handler had told me that he loves supporting artists and the amount that he knows he will give me it's a hundred thousand a hundred thousand would have gone a long way for at least two churches when i went home then i remember we went to one of my colleagues event ruru stadium and the guy was also attending and i remember he even gifted that colleague of mine good money and when the handler saw me they they told the person hey even helen is here so they called and said oh helen why don't we meet a long bypass i had two people who i always work with the facility they invited us one side is a bar and the other side is a restaurant and i was not very comfortable going into the bar so i stayed in the restaurant part na nikaitishia watu wangu chakula na hata tukaanza kukula so when the mukurugenzi came he said i be told to go to the club side and sit and discuss with him and i sent one of the person that i was with nikamwambia boy enda uangalie penye ninaambiwa nienda ni wapi so they said of course he was not happy that i sent somebody so the person came back and told me Helen no you're not you're not going to that place he's surrounded by half naked women alcohol is on the table and there's loud music even though you want to discuss anything there's nothing you can discuss there so i asked the handler can you tell him to kindly come to where we are because we are not comfortable going where he is and the handler came back and the message was because the lady who I sent there had he said kama hataki kuja basi naende i was like okay so me i paid for the bill that we had used and sisi tukaenda and that was it and i never heard from the person again and maybe of course they wanted me to pursue them and say you know i'm sorry and all that but i didn't why because i know my god he's the owner of cattles on a thousand hills can you imagine how much capacity they have to accommodate cut how much cattle it's in that a thousand hills so i said oh, whatever let's go home and when i went home guess what god sent somebody who called me and gave me the exact amount this person didn't give me he gave me a hundred thousand and the two churches that i wanted to support with those musical instruments i did in all glory and honor to god in fact that person said for every month you're going i will be giving you a hundred thousand why am i telling you this ladies and gentlemen never compromise your standards never go short of where god wants you to be if it is here let it be here whether you sleep hungry lalanja ni leo tu god will come pay that faithfulness five times over even a hundred times over i am a witness so stand your ground do not compromise do not compromise no matter what wewe ni wa mungu na anakupenda and he will make a way for you and the way you stand up for his name here on earth he will make sure he stand up for you but here on earth and also in heaven may god bless you